Motorsports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. Today's coverage of the Legends Championship is about to start. I'm Luke Elgar alongside Rich Beam and we're around the midway point of the season, Rich. Do you think the player has the FedEx Cup on their mind? Most definitely, they have to. The FedEx Cup Championship is the beginning of the end and they want to make sure not only are they that top 125, but they have the opportunity to advance to the 70th and 30th spot. And right now, they're playing well, so it'd be a shock if they didn't make it. Well, I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. That's heading for the fairway. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Opting for the 9-iron. Well, good-looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Just put right on 10 feet. A good one to make. Oh, hello. Welcome to the course. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. Currently one under for the tournament. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Going with the five iron here. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Let's head over to the third. Playing their fourth shot. And back to the course with the live action. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. It's half a chance of being hold this one. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. And I like it two in a row. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Well, this should find the short grass. Well, as we approach the midway point of this season on 2K Sports PJ Tour coverage, Rich, really, for a lot of players, they've been able to get after it early, get some wins, big FedEx Cup points. But for those who have struggled, what's in front of them now? Well, they've got to they, they've got to rethink what they're doing because whatever it is that they're trying to do isn't producing. So they're going to have to maybe go back to the drawing board a little bit, uh, take a look at how they're preparing for the tournament, maybe some of the decision making during the event, uh, look and see what stats are suffering, whether it's chipping, putting inside of 150 yards, whatever it is, each player is unique. But in saying that, it's been a lot of fun to see some of the new time winners already this year, some of the veterans making a comeback of sorts, and a couple of Cinderella stories that nobody saw coming. I've got to say, this has provided a lot of interest. I, for one, have been a little surprised about some of the outcomes, but i got to say, that's what you love about this game, is you love the surprises that golf delivers. Well, if you're on the outside looking in, it's time to put the foot down and make some more FedEx Cup points so you can make those playoffs. Well, good look at a birdie here. Oh, what a stroke. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. Luke, I don't know if you know this or not, but nothing rolls like a ball. And now we head to the fifth, where this great highlight took place. 
Matt Coocher with a fantastic shot. Tell you what, from the fairway bunker, this is one you got to keep your eyes on. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Nicely done. Four in a row. You're on some sort of a roll. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This is beautiful to watch. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. This hole here is a par four. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it. Lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? Wow. That's bold. It would be nice to make this putt. This is for Regan. It's on a great line. Oh, that's frustrating. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And that will take him to six under. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Good look here for a second shot. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. This hole is a short par five. Excellent opportunity to extend that lead. What are they going to do? Wow, that was just striped. Second shot here on the seventh. Going with the hybrid. Come on, get down. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Putting for Eagle here. Ouch, that hurts. That's the spirit. Well played. Just go ahead and tap this in for Birdie. Still in the lead now after that hole. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Going with a three wood here. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Sitting at plus one. Let's get back to it, shall we? Uh, 14 footer. It's tracking. And that putt will drop and he'll extend his lead. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. It's time to begin this par four hole. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? Oh, absolutely flushed. Time for the second shot here at the ninth. foot chance here oh gee that line was looking good wasn't it that's a solid part
and this effort by Justin Thomas. Uh, this one's from downtown. Make sure you get the pace right. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Well, Rich, this is the pivotal final nine coming up and the players perfectly positioned. They've given themselves a chance. Yeah, but I, I like the position. I like being out in front. It forces the other players to come catch you. I like their position. Playing from around 160 yards. Going with the seven. Yeah, good safe shot this one. And it should find the surface. This putt coming up is for birdie. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top ten all day long because of it. at that good birdie leading by three strokes now you've reached the 11th hole and the tee is yours yeah that one will play And this effort by Justin Thomas just a short while ago. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Second shot here on the 11th. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, that's some good golf right there. And it certainly makes putty easier, doesn't it? Back to back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. Currently in first position. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? Well, this is bold. Their eyes are opening up. Headed for the green. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. John, have you got a read on this one? This looks like somewhere in the 27-foot range from here. Ooh, right by the hole. Seven feet to the cup. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Well struck. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. There's been some great action out on the course. Let's take a look at this highlight from another person's play. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. Well, I'm always happy to recap shots like this. Let's take another look. Our current leader is enjoying a seven-stroke advantage. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. was wonderfully done time for the second shot at the 14th
Going with the five wood. Great looking shot this. Well, not a bad approach that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there and that'll be a pretty good hole. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Looking like 32 feet or so to the cup. coming up here. Okay, let's head to the next. Leading by a whopping seven shots after that one. Par threes are always fun. See if you can knock it close. And choosing the eight iron here. Now, yeah, not a bad shot, that one. This putt is about 15 feet to the hole. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hole. Big putt for Pai coming up. Good putt, that. Ooh, that is some pretty good breathing room. Out in front by a bunch. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you take on this 16th hole. Nicely done. Well, you can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high caliber. And I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Hey, nice looking line. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Well, I like the look of the line here. We should find the fairway. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Going with the 9-iron, nine I think. Should find the green here. Butting for birdie. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Sitting at minus 13 for the tournament. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. Wow, was that a massive drive there. Holy cow. This one is chewing fiber. And this is why they put in hours and hours of practice. A putt to win it all. And this putt is from an astonishing score of 58. Well, Rich, as the legendary Jim Nance once said, they're now rich and famous. I got to say, that was an incredible incredible statement by the great man and bestowed upon a great player and this player will be thrilled to become rich and famous rich this is something you can understand this player now a major champion luke life-changing indeed i have to say i'm thrilled for this player as i know what is in store from them. It's a life-changing moment. 
Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Ridge Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.
2K Sports, delighted to bring you all the action here from the PGA Tour. Today's coverage of the Evergreen Classic is about to kick off. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And Rich, I'm ready to get stuck into it, so let's go right into this opening hole. Opening hole at Victory Village, 456 yards, par four for the back tees. And this is so cool. I love this hole. Four bunkers, all of them waiting to capture a wayward tee shot, but find the fairway, and you have just a beauty of a second shot. They'll tuck that pin over the left-hand side, bringing all four of those bunkers into play. All sorts of room out on the right to miss it. This hole is one of my favorites to play all year long in the PGA Tour. Can't wait to find out what happens here. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the first. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. That's pretty fancy. Nice start. Absolutely love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. He's in a share of 12th place. Making Birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. The interesting choice of the driver here. Well, this is one of those lies that dictates a shot. It doesn't seem like it's a tough one. This will be a big birdie here. Good putt to make. Wow, was that a rush of blood or something? Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Just didn't drop. And this one is for Bogey. Well done. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, guys, I'm down on the fifth, and this is Patrick Cantley's next shot. This would be a great up and down from this spot. And after this hole, that's how it looks. Teeing off here at the third hole. Bogey on the last, but a good opportunity on this one to bounce back with a birdie. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. Currently one under for the round. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. And let's take a look at this shot from moments ago. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Okay, let's get back to the action. Second shot here on the fourth.
You want to move into the top ten on the leaderboard? Well, let's hold this putt. And that's for birdie. Well hold. And what a way to jump into the top ten. And after a birdie at the last, we will take the honour on the hole. <laughs> Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the fifth. That's uh, a brave one. Driver off the deck. Sitting at two under. Currently tied for seventh position. How close was that to going down? A spot the all-important top five coming up if you can hold this. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau. This is their fifth shot. Ooh. That'll certainly keep the momentum rolling. Big chip in there, Rich. Chipping in for bogey. Happy and sad all the same breath. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. To me, the short par four is the most underrated hole in all of golf. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Well, guys, a lie is, you know, considering the situation is pretty good. Hopefully they can get a hold of this one. And this putt to move into a tie for third. This one's looking good. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. Step aside, gents. This man's marching into the top five. Just one off the lead after that hole. Ting off here at the seventh. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. And our intrepid on course reporter, John, standing by. Down on the eighth hole, guys. This is Matt Kuchar. Well, they've found the bunker, but a chance to maybe save from there. After initially struggling coming on to tour after a prodigious amateur career, Matt Kuchar's found his real niche, hasn't he? He knows what to do with his golf swing and gets the most out of it. I've never seen a player that has been as consistent as he has been for as long as he has been. The man is a human ATM machine. Every time he puts the golf ball in the ground, they start handing him cash as fast as they can. It's ridiculous. Finally got a couple more wins in 2019, and I gotta say, he has really been impressive throughout his entire career, but just the run that he's been on over the last 12 years or so, it's simply amazing. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four.
that should find the fairway. Second shot here on the eighth. Game of the seven. Well, that's well played into Bernie range here at the eighth. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau's effort. Well, let's see how this shot goes from the fairway bunker. Trying to get to five under with this putt. That was a gallant attempt. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. He's currently tied for first. We find ourselves on a par three here. Opting for the five wood. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Oh, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Well, guys, this looks like it's about 21 feet. Oh, so close. Can make this one. It's for par. And as we make the turn here, Rich, our player tied for the lead. Yeah, you always want to be up or in the lead going in the final line holes. That's what they practice for. That's what they want to be. They want to be in this position. Let's see how it all plays out. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Second shot here at the 10th. He's got this thing dialed in here. Looking good. John, what's going on out there? down here on the 11th hole and Kucher's just getting ready to hit. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Those are the kind of putts the best in the world make with monotonous regularity. And this one is for his par. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Welcome to this hole. It's a par four. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Here's what Bryson DeChambeau managed just a short time ago. You want to know why our current leader is where they are? Have a look at this. He's a long way away, but he's feeling it today. Sitting at minus four. Currently tied for top spot. Going with the eight iron here. This looks to be heading to the green. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. And with that, he'll move to five under par. And with that, he's now broken the tie 
all alone at the top of the leaderboard. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. That one's heading down Broadway. Second shot here on the 12th. The interesting choice of the driver here. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. Ah, that's a shame. Comes up shy. Downhill putt and certainly was robbed on that effort. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And that will move him to six under par. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Looks like they've got the five wood. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Right on four feet. Should make this one. <sighs> That'll hurt the momentum. Well hold. Let's move on. And now that finds him in first place. Yeah, I can understand you'd be disappointed by the bogey. But here's an opportunity to bounce back. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it, lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? John, do you have any info down there? Down here on the 15th, this is Matt Kuchar's next shot. Just take a look at this one, Rich. Do you think it's makeable? Look, I gotta say, I'm really not liking their chances here, but you never know, stranger things have happened. This one has eyes for the hole. So close to the eagle. And that's eight birdies today. And that will take him to six under. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. Time to recap Bryson DeChambeau's effort from just a little while ago. Our current leader showing us why they're on top. Third shot now. Don't know about you, Beamer, but I would have loved to. And back to the course with the live action. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Left yourself an opportunity. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. <laughs> oh, wow. Steady on there. 
Just 10 feet to the cup here. It's got a chance. And with that putt, now it's six under with a few to play. And anything can happen down the stretch. Let's see what takes place. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you handle the 16th hole. Going with the five wood. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Oh, what a shot by our leader. John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. I'd say about 26 feet or so to the cup from here. Okay, steady now. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. Job done. Let's head to the next. Currently six under for the event. We have a par four on this one. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Second shot here on the 17th hole. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. A wonderful shot and a chance for Purdy here on the 17th. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones right on eight feet. Hey, that's a chance. It was on a good line. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. In she goes. Let's head to the next. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. And this player now tees off on their final hole of the event, tied for the lead. Well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Let's have a look at Bryce of DeChambeau. Playing their fifth shot. Let's get back to it, shall we? Time for the second shot on the 18th. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. And he can win the event here if he can hold this part. And this part is for a final score of 65. And that's going to do it. Holds the putt for victory. Well played. Having to build another basement, Luke. He's racking up the hardware. Well, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.
2K Sports and the PGA Tour. Proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Zurich Classic of New Orleans is about to start. Well, this is one of the great eating weeks on the PGA Tour. We're in the Bayou at TPC Louisiana. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this is a golf course where, well, if it's not raining, there's plenty of birdies. And crocodiles to bite you if you hit it out of position. There's no doubt. This is in the middle of the swamplands. But I got to say, Pete Dye did an amazing thing with this land. He created, I think, one of the coolest golf courses on the PGA Tour. Very small bunkers in the fairways or just off the fairways. Very small bunkers around the greens. Small greens. It's just a work of art. I love it. It is a golf course you can have so much fun playing day in and day out. But I got to say, it's tough. It's not that easy just because of how small some of the green complexes are. You've got to hit it well, but I think if you just know how to chip it and putt it because you don't, you're don't, you not going to hit a lot of the greens, so you're going to rely on your short game quite a bit. I find this course to be a lot of fun to play, and you can make a lot of birdies, but the other stuff will come up and bite you if you're not careful. Well, we love the raging Cajun city of Louisiana. It's a party town. But uh, this week, it's back to stroke play. No team event. So golf your ball the whole way around. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. Can't wait to see what happens. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. And here we are with the third shot. Let's return to live play now. The second hole at TPC Louisiana sets up the first of numerous birdie opportunities. Third shot into this par five to a green that sits above the player, but watch out, missing either right or long, you're in terrible shape. Accuracy with your third is a must. Well played, what an eagle. Currently a couple under for the event. Ooh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Opting for the three wood. Come on, sit. Ooh. And ladies and gentlemen, that was laser-like. Took a great deal of accuracy there. And that puddle drop. Well done. He sits in first position. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Time for the second shot here at the four. Going with the seven. A nice approach shot there. Pin high inside the range. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies moving him in the right direction. Here's some action from just a short time ago. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. Lining up for his third now. Six feet remaining to the cup. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Teeing off here at the fifth. Oh, that is crushed. Going with the pitching wedge here. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? This one's for birdie. It's on a good line. That's very impressive. That sets a positive tone for the player, doesn't it? This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff.
Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. Trying to get to one under here with this putt. Oh, what a great stroke. That's outstanding. What a putt. And that will take him to one under. And back to the course with the live action. From around 170 yards here. Oh, they're dialed in. It's an absolute clinic. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Our leader is up by four shots now. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. There are two menacing bunkers on this hole. The far one, the one right in the middle of the fairway. It looks like a zit from the back tee box. That is not the place to be. Rich, such a fun week in New Orleans. It's a super vibe. What do you love about the Zurich Classic of New Orleans? The food. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I love the food. I love going down to Bourbon Street. I enjoy hanging out. I'm a foodie. What can I say? The golf course, though, it's fun. It really is a blast to play. I like it probably more than anything else because of the bunkering around here. What Pete Dye did is it gives you plenty of room, plenty of room in the fairways. But about 275, 280, you know, maybe even 300. He'll throw in this, this bunker that's the size of a, a 71 Super Beetle. And he'll just throw it in there, and it's just a little bunker. And it's annoying. And guess what? You're going to find it. Why does he, how does he know that? I mean, I just don't understand why he did that. And yet, my golf ball found it. I got to say, it, it can drive you crazy. I mean, because I know how to avoid the big bunkers. It's just those little tiny ones I find. Can we get a more modern-day reference to the 71 Beetle? Are we no. thinking like the Mini Cooper S or something? No, no, because that was my first car, the 71 Super Oh, what a shot. Mark it down as an eagle. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. You've arrived at a par four.
Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Really know how to golf your ball. Serious momentum of five straight birdies. That should find the surface. Just a four footer remaining. Dee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. And that will take him to eight under. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Opting for the five wood. Outstanding approach shot. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard.